And most churches don't even understand what the Spirit of God is. Therefore, they don't know how to receive the Spirit of God. God is not a trinity. He is not three distinctions in one. There are two members of the family of God, Father and Son. Let us, me and you, Father and Son, create man after our own image. The Spirit of God is the very power that flows from the Spirit and the Son, and their desire is to create sons and daughters of God. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. It's the power that flows from the Father and the Son. Now, what messes people up about this issue of the Trinity is, a, is it's called the use of personification. Now, I'll take a little time to explain this, the use of personification. Here it is, John 16 and verse 13. But when he, referring to the Spirit of God, the Spirit of truth come, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak of his own, he will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. This is the use of personification. You take a pronoun like he and you use it to explain the Spirit of God. And the assumption is, well, because it uses the pronoun he, then the Spirit must be another he or a third member of the family of God. Not so at all. It's just the use of personification. So does this mean that the Spirit of God is a he? No. Does it mean that it's a third distinction of the family of God? No. Does it mean that there's three members of the God family? No. Does it mean that God is a trinity? No. No, it does not. Now, let me illustrate personification a little bit more deeply here with the use of the word wisdom and the description of what wisdom is. Proverbs 8 and verse 1. Does not wisdom cry and understand Understanding put forth her voice. She stands in the top of the high places, by the way, in the place of the paths. She cries at the gates and at the ent entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Until you, O oh men, I call, and my voice is to the Son of Man. So what am I saying? I'm saying wisdom is personified as a woman. She has a mouth. She cries out. She walks up and down the street. She says, how long will you reject me, O simple ones? But if I say, if I come to you and I say, man, you've got wisdom. I'm not talking about you've got a woman inside of you. No, you know exactly what I mean when I say you have wisdom. So the Bible uses personification over and over again. It takes a description like he and refers to he as the Spirit of God. It takes a woman and refers to woman as a wisdom. It's the use of personification. It doesn't literally mean that wisdom is a woman. It doesn't literally mean that the Spirit is a he or a third member of the family of God. Wisdom is not a woman any more than the Spirit of God is a he or a third member of the family of God. The Spirit of God is the power that comes from the Father and the Son. And that power is something that you can receive at baptism. And God's intent is to create children through that Spirit. You receive at baptism through the laying on of hands part of God's spiritual DNA. DNA. 